of boys and girls. I was so excited to see you this afternoon because we've got a new friend, but something terrible's happened. He's frightened away all our other friends. Because when he arrived, he did a big roar. And now we can't find the rest of our friends. Are you going to come and help me look? Okay. The sloth. Let's see if we can find Cupcake first. We should look up for him, I think, because remember, he likes to climb. Come on. Oh, no sign of him there. Or there. There's so many trees. I'm not sure I know where to look. Have you seen him? There he is. Oh, it's okay. Come on. The lion won't hurt you. He just wants to be friends. We'll put them at separate sides of the box. Let's see if we can find anyone else. I think we should look under some things, shall we? Let's just have a look. We should look under the hut. Nothing under the hat. Oh, what if I look under this? Oh, look, under the wheelbarrow. There he is. Hello, Dumbo. Oh, he's looking at something. Look, what's under the bush? There you go. Come on, these are all right. If you say, oh. We have to find the babies now. Dumbo's baby elephant and the baby chicks. I can see them. Come over here. Look, on top of the rhubarb. One, two, three, four, should be five. Oh, will we look underneath? Five. There we go. Let's see if we can find the baby elephant now. I wonder where would you hide if you were frightened of a lion? Maybe in some bushes. Let's have a look. Not in the heather or in the ivy. Bamboo. Can you see him? Look, it's all right. There you go. Come to daddy. There you are. The lion's behaving now. No more roars. Who's missing, boys and girls? What animal have we lost? tall animal with a long neck. The giraffe, Geraldine. I think she might have gone to the top of the garden because she likes to see what's coming. Come on, up we go. Oh, she's not on the table. She's not in the shed. There she is, hiding in the little greenhouse beside the ivy that we're growing for nursery. Come on, Geraldine, join your friends. There we go, boys and girls. Our new friend, the lion, is going to behave from now on and he promises he won't frighten his friends anymore. But we need a name for him. We decided to call the baby elephant Eric. All the animals are happy together now inside the box. Speak to you soon. Bye.